Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to use AI to turn this very ordinary looking shot of this wine bottle into something much more professional and even create versions which look really cinematic like you can see in front of you. We will be using two different AI tools for this, Mocker AI and Pencil AI. The links to all the AI tools are given in the description of the video. Also, we'll be using a couple of images. All those images have been given. The link to download them has been given in the description too. Now, we'll be starting off with Mocker AI. That's going to be the main tool. This is an AI product creating software which I've been very impressed with. Just a week back, I released a 25 minutes long video which covers all the basics right from the start on how to use this tool. The link is hovering on top. I'll also leave the link in the description to that video in case you want to check it out. Otherwise, it's not that tough to use anyway. So let's get started with this process because once you are on Mocker AI, once you hit this create with Mocker button, it's going to ask you to create your free account and you're going to get 20 free credits. That means you'll be able to generate 20 images. So let's start this process by clicking on this button. So since I already have had created my account, you can see that now, right now, I'm just left with two photo credits. That means I can generate two images and that should be enough uh, for this tutorial. I still haven't gone for their paid plan, but I'll be showing you how much it costs just towards the end of the video. But even 20 images is more than enough. So how it all starts is that you just need to upload a photograph. So we're going to upload that very ordinary looking wine bottle photograph that you must have got your hands on. So let's do that. All right, so I've just uploaded that photograph. And the moment you do that, it's going to take you over to this window where what it's going to do is it's going to analyze that image and it's going to suggest you some of the templates that you can use. So it's literally almost becomes like a one click process. So it's kind of got the idea that yes, this is some kind of a bottle. So you can see that it is showing us different templates which might go well with this. So you can see showing us some wine ideas also here. So if I was to click on it, our image will be something closer to this. So we can just have look here otherwise we can also hit skip because we can see these templates manually also but right now there's no harm in clicking on one of them so i actually liked this one okay so we can just click on this and then how mocker works is the moment you click on the template it takes you to this kind of a mock board design board where it's right now showing you like a rough sketch of the props and the other things that are there in the design and once you hit generate photos you will start to see the ai generated photo come here which will be based on this particular design and you can move around these uh, things also but for right now let's stick to the default setting because we will be seeing a different way to do this also so i'm just going to place them together in case you don't like anything you can always select something and even delete it from this board but right now i think i'm okay with this i'm okay with the composition then you're going to see that it, there are some lighting styles that it can put on its own because we selected a default template. So it's put this dark spirit studio light. So we're going to leave that because then it's going to make the shot dark and cinematic. You can also add your own prompt to modify this. We're going to see that in the next generation. Okay. Before we hit generate photos, uh, uh, one very important thing next to generate photos, there's this button. Make sure that you select the iris model and not the baseline model. So like I mentioned, I have a long video on Mocker and there I've actually shown the differences between these two models. Iris 2 is the latest AI model. So it just generates much better, cleaner and slicker looking photographs. So make sure this is on Iris. And one very important point before we do anything else and hit generate, you're going to see this option which says studio options here. Make sure here images generated is set to one so that when we hit generate it's not going to create four variations. That's usually the default, but the problem with that is you can run out of your credits pretty fast. Okay, so make sure this is set on one. And here are some easy things to understand. There are some templates. If you wanted to change this to something else, you can even search for like something like wine. And it's going to show you some other templates also that it has for wine. Here are your products. These are the images that you upload. So you can see we have these products with us. And you can even add any props to this. You can actually search for different props like glasses, flowers, fruits, anything and add it on the board. Okay, you don't have to worry about anything else here. That's it, you really don't have to do anything else. Just hit generate photos now. And one thing with Mocker, as I've explained in the detailed tutorial video also, is that sometimes it just, the render, the rendering process is not 
it doesn't come up here. Okay, so what you do is just refresh the page and then you'll actually start to see this come. Okay, so you'll see that yes, it's just building or generating that photograph. You can keep doing this multiple times till the time you actually start to see the result come here. And let's say if you do it for the third time, pretty much the image should be uh, ready. So you can see, if I now click on this image, you can see that this starts to look really nice. And this is pretty much a one-click process. And once you like something, what you can do is you can just hit download image. And it's not even going to have a watermark, okay? So even though you're on the free plan, you will be able to use this image without a watermark and also it doesn't downscale it. So you'll be able to use the full resolution. So this is one way to use it, that you just select uh, the template in case you wanted to edit it. You can hit recreate scene and change things and then go for the next generation. But right now I want to move on to something more advanced, which is what if we have a look or some kind of an inspiration in our mind that means we saw some image and we want to generate an image which is close to that for instance let's see uh, let's take an example let's say we really uh, like this image that we found somewhere maybe on the internet maybe in a magazine or something like that but basically we've got this image and we want to create something similar to that so this is where we won't be using their templates what we'll be doing is we'll be actually using their prompts and how we're going to do this is we're going to take the help of chat GPT. So in chat GPT, we're going to attach the image that we got inspired by and we're going to ask chat GPT to, to create a prompt for that image which we can use back in mockup. So let's do that. So we've uploaded that image here. We're simply going to type in prompt to create the attached image. And you can see that it's given us a really detailed prompt here, which would have been very tough to write on our own. So we're just going to copy this, go back to Mocker. And now what we're going to do is we don't need anything from their templates. So what we can do is just keep uh, deleting it, everything. So we're just going to hit those dots, delete all, all sort of props, even this table. We just want the bottle to be there, okay? And this time we can slightly decrease the size. And even in the image that we got inspired by, the bottle was somewhere in the rule of thirds like this, slightly smaller. So I've just decreased the size there. And something like this should be fine. Okay, maybe we can just increase the size slightly. And that's about it. And now what we can do is just even remove this uh, template style that was there, which was Dark Spirit Studio. We're basically doing this completely manually now. So it's fresh, okay? And now we are just going to paste our prompt. So usually when you use prompts, it's a good idea to then not mix the two. Either use the template or use the prompt. Even if you want to use the prompt along with the template, make sure it's done in such a way that you're probably just adding something small in the prompt which is affecting the template. But when you do something uh, so drastic, it's just best to stick with either the template or the prompt. That's where the results are the best. And that's it. We don't really need to do anything. We're just going to hit generate photos and let's wait for the result here and again you can see it's not showing up here so just refresh the page and you can see that this will start to come here and you can see that it's pretty much done and this starts to look really nice and very close to what we had with the image that we got inspired by and make sure this is fully done you can see it looks really sharp so we can now download this image but Right now, what I would say, it still doesn't have that dark and cinematic look to it. Now, this doesn't look bad at all, but what if we even wanted a more moody and a dark looking shot? That's where we go on to our next AI tool, which is Pencil AI, which is something I've been showing in a lot of my videos. We're going to go over to Tools. When you do create an account with Pencil, you get 20 free credits, so you can generate 20 images. You're going to go down in the Tools section and find a tool called Relight. I have a separate video tutorial on just the Relight tool, the link is hovering on top. I'll also leave the link in the description of the video in case you're interested in how this tool works. But basically, you add your image that you want to change and then you edit it by writing the prompts. That's all. There's nothing else to it, okay? So we're going to add this second image that we generated in Mocha. And the next thing you just need to do is you need to select the correct direction of the lighting from the shots. You can see that the light is coming from the left. So we're going to select left light. And here we can just say cinematic and then hit generate and let's wait for the results. All right, you can see that 
that is just made it slightly more moody. This looks really nice, but it still maintains the original outlines of the props that were there. And the best part about this tool is that if you hit generate again, it's going to give you something that's going to be very, very different every time. So you can just select anything that you want. One important thing is I keep repeating in my pencil AI tutorials is whenever you like something, make sure you hit download image because your generations don't get stored anywhere. There's no database for your accounts. When you like something, make sure you hit download. So I think this, for example, looks really good. So I can hit uh, the download button and let's just try one more prompt. So maybe let's say we can type in dark and moody. Let's see what it will result in this. So anytime you're typing this prompt, it's actually working back on the original. That's the good part. It's not like this that you type this and the next time is working on what was generated so you can just feel free to experiment okay so you can see this time it's much darker i think this also looks pretty good so i can hit download let's just try one more maybe we're going to try uh vintage because that's also a popular effect with wine shots so let's wait for this and you can see this also looks good. The only downside of Relight is in some of the variations like we saw before in the last uh, generation when we typed in Dark and Moody, it did change the bottle a bit. So you just have to be a bit careful with that. But then sometimes it also doesn't. For example, when we typed in Cinematic, it didn't really change the bottle. It just changed the lighting and the background. So you can see that using these two tools can really generate some awesome looking photographs. And I just wanted to show you one more version here. So I followed exactly the same process that I showed you here. And I went from this to this. And this also, in my opinion, looked really good. So the final result that you're seeing came after generating it with Mocker and then putting it through Pencil. The prompt that I used here was just one word, which was cinematic, and it did the job. So I think this looked good. The only thing, as you can see, is like the color of the bottle is a bit different. But then that happens in real life also. Sometimes we see a product in an advertisement and it can look a bit different to how it is in reality. So I think it's still a good result. So you do get free credits for these tools, but just before I end this video, quickly just wanted to show you how much do these tools cost in case you're interested. You can see again, very affordable, $20 a month, you get 500 credits. And with Pencil, it's like I've shown a couple of times in my uh, videos, it's again $19 a month and you get 1,000 generations. So I've been very impressed with these two tools. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with how AI is completely changing the game of photography, post-processing and all these things, then do subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.